Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this rather large uh, astrograph beside me here on our HDX mount is the uh, Orion 10-inch F8 uh, Ritchie Cratian astrograph. It's a, well, first of all, a 10-inch uh, reflector design. It uses two mirrors, but it's not your average reflector. This is an RC, or Ritchie Cratian, which is a very well-corrected astrograph designed for um, DSLRs or CCD cameras all the way up to full format 35 millimeter size very well corrected across the entire chip so let's get into the details and I'll show you what this telescope is all about first of all the optics so 10 inch f8 that means it's a 2000 millimeter uh, focal length telescope very good for medium to small deep sky objects globular clusters galaxies all sorts of stuff um, so uh, a good image scale in that regard the RC design uses, like I said, a primary and a secondary mirror, uh, but there's no corrector plate up front. They get the correction from the curves on the, on the two mirrors. They're both hyperbolic. Um, so you've got corrections that, that lead to a very flat field from center to edge, no uh, field curvature and virtually no coma. So you don't need anything extra. You don't need uh, field flatteners or coma correctors like you would on some other designs. The mirrors themselves are made from quartz, which is a very low thermal expansion substrate. So much better than sodaline plate or other uh, not as uh, thermally stable uh, substrates. So as the temperature changes, as the temperature drops at night or maybe in the middle of the night, the temperature might raise a few degrees, the, the curve of the mirror really doesn't change because it's so, so thermally stable, leading to very nice images and no distortions. So those optics are all housed in this very uh, ingenious design truss system. Uh, that's my favorite part of this. It looks really, uh, really nice, and I think it looks great on top of this mount. Uh, this is a, a truss system, but not just any truss. The, this design was originally meant for the Hale telescope on Mount Palomar, and it's just been scaled down to a much smaller telescope. You've got these three circular plates, front, middle, and back, and then in between them, the front set of trusses and the back set of trusses. The design of these trusses is meant to kind of push and pull against each other as the temperature changes and as um, gravity kind of pulls as you're moving the scope through the sky, it, it pulls in different directions. The front trusses and the back trusses work against each other. So as there's more tension here, uh, when it might say be over in this area of the sky, the back trusses push against that tension. So they're constantly working against each other and it leads to a very optically stable system. No flex whatsoever like you would have in possibly some other design, maybe with a closed tube. Um, the trusses leave this thing extremely rigid, so there's no um, flexure. And then with the carbon fiber, there's really no thermal change either, which can lead to a change in focus. The quartz mirrors themselves are enhanced aluminum uh, reflectivity, so you get 96% reflectivity, so a very bright, very efficient system for letting the light through the telescope back to your camera. And then it all sits in, by definition, this open tube design, right? The trusses, you know, you can pass your, your hand through here, so it makes it nice and lightweight. Uh, but that also um, allows the telescope to cool down very fast. Because it's an open tube design, the air radiate, the heat radiates away very quickly, leading to very stable images uh, after just a few minutes. All right, so let's talk about uh, some of the uh, uh, smaller features on the telescope, and my favorite part is, I'm gonna aim this this way, the focuser on the back. It's a 3.3 inch diameter linear bearing focuser, which means it holds a lot of weight, uh, nine pounds of equipment, and it's very smooth. You get a very nice smooth motion from front to back, uh, and you've got this dual speed focus. So you've got course adjustment and a very fine focus here, which uh, is pretty critical when you're, when you're talking about focusing a DSLR or a CMOS chip. The, the critical focus zone is very tiny, so this gets you there very, uh, very accurately. And then while we're back here, uh, if you notice, there's three fans around the perimeter, one, two, and three. They plug in right down here on the bottom. Uh, the scope comes with a little battery pack, uh, eight AA batteries, gives you 12 volts, plug it in there, and that helps uh, cool the mirror down even faster to ambient temperature, so you can get started uh, uh, taking pictures and you make sure you're all at uh, acclimatized ambient temperature. The other thing I want to mention back here is the, the collimation. On a lot of RCs, the focuser and the primary mirror are uh, bolted together, so when you collimate one, it also affects the other. Well, this RC is a little different. It, the, the, the focuser sits on its own plate, independent of the primary mirror. So if you can see here, there's three adjustment screws for the um, focuser to get it collimated, so it's looking straight down the center of the barrel, right at the primary mirror. 
or at the secondary mirror, excuse me. Uh, and then around the perimeter here, you've got the collimation adjustments for the primary mirror. So when you adjust that, you're not messing with the adjustments you've just done here with the focuser. So it, it just makes life easier and it, it, it makes the collimation go quicker and it's definitely less aggravating uh, when you're trying to collimate the scope. So I think a better system for collimation on this RC. We've also included the wide D-series, uh, Los Mandy style dovetail plates. So this bolts onto any mount that uses the D-series Los Mandy uh, style plates. And we've also put one on top as well. So you've got a D-series up here. That's meant for attaching guide scopes, uh, any other accessory you might want to put on at a wide angle uh, uh, piggyback adapter. Um, there's also two sets of uh, holes up on top that are designed for our um, finder scope base. So you can attach another finder if you wanted to up here or maybe one of the smaller guide scopes um, to do some guiding that way. So th we just give you options of, of what you want to attach onto the thing. Now the whole scope weighs 35 pounds without any of the accessories. So you want to keep that in mind when you're trying to figure out what mount you're going to use with this. Add up the 35 pounds of the scope uh, and whatever weight you're going to use um, in back of it. So the camera, filter wheel, adaptive optics, guide scope, all that stuff. And, and factor that into the calculations to figure out what mount you need. I've got this on the, on the HDX mount here. It, it should also work on our Atlas Pro, which has a 44 pound weight capacity. But if you start adding a lot of things on top of it, you might even exceed that. So, so just keep in mind the weight capacity of your mounts. In the box, you get not only the scope, and I think I already mentioned the battery pack to power the fans, uh, but you get uh, two caps, a, a, an objective, uh, a primary mirror cap, which fits over this, and then a secondary mirror cap, which fits over the baffle up here. And I didn't mention that it also comes with uh, some extension rings in the back. There's a big uh, back focus range on this telescope. The light focus is very far back here, which means you can use it in any different configuration, uh, maybe with an eyepiece and a diagonal, to any number of, uh, like your camera, plus filter wheel and off-axis guider and, and whatever else you're going to stick back there. To reach focus with all those different combinations, we include some extension rings that fit underneath the focuser. So you can unscrew the focuser, put on whatever extension rings you need, and then screw it back on to, to hit focus. Uh, it comes with two one-inch uh, length extension rings, and right here I've got the two-inch extension ring it comes with. So a two-inch extension ring and two one-inch extension rings are included in the package. All right, well, there you have it, a very um, large, very advanced telescope designed for deep sky astro imaging with your CCD, uh, uh, CMOS, or DSLR camera. This is the Orion 10-inch F8 Ritchie Cratian astrograph. Thank you very much. Clear skies.